We love ice cream. Um, I love the the idea behind ice cream, the fact that when people come here, to, you come to get ice cream, it's because you're here to celebrate something or it's because you had a bad day and you just want something that's gonna make it better. Yeah, so it's not just ice cream, it's an experience. When you come in, you get to taste flavors and you get to play board games and and um, it's, just a, it's just a whole fun experience. It's not just coming in to get ice cream. And we love ice cream. We do all of our like, kids' celebrations, sometimes just in the summer, like you can do a bike ride or a walk to get some ice cream. What we want out of a shop is um, for it to be fun and family oriented and describe ice cream. So we came up with fun days and it's really stuck. Uh, we can't imagine any other name. It's cool when we hear kids, they, they don't ask for ice cream, they ask for fun days. So that, that's like our favorite thing about the ice cream shop. The ice cream's great, but it's the people that are what make the ice cream business. So it's a, it's, a, it's a business to where you don't really deal with grumpy people, you know? It's hard to be grumpy when you're getting ice cream. We, have, we do a lot of celebrations here. People do birthday parties here. It's like, it's like a fun environment. You just come in and we try to make it as loose and fun as we can. We give as many samples. And it's like hard to be upset when you're used to eating a bunch of different ice cream. We have 32 flavors in our cabinet, um, but we have over 100 that we rotate through. So every time you come in, it's gonna be a little bit of a different experience. We want you to try all of our ice cream. We always have um, a few standard flavors that we keep in stock at all times. This stuff just got serious. It's our number one seller, salted caramel, sea salt fudge, and cashews. We have an exhausted parent. That one's a lot of fun. It's a bourbon spiked espresso. Zanzibar chocolate, which is like, um, uh, like a brownie batter almost, it's really good. And then we always have dairy-free options, um, and that was really important to us that we make sure that, especially for kids that have um, dairy allergies, that they could still come in here with their families and get something for, at the same time, you know, that their other family members can. So we've got two flavors um, in our cabinet at all times that are dairy-free, but we always keep extras in the back and we'll pull them out for anyone who has a dairy allergy. We try to get through all the flavors, so what we typically try to do is if we pull out a fruit flavor, we'll put a different type of fruit in that spot, or like um, we have like butter pecan and praline pecan, we'll rotate through those, and we have three different kinds of mints that we rotate through. We have seasonal flavors that come out. We're getting ready to have snapple lantern and pumpkin come through, and then like we have eggnog and for Christmas and, and peppermint, peppermint stick. Cinnamon's getting ready to come in, and it's a it's a fall flavor that people really enjoy. Some of the crazy flavors that we have, we have a spicy whiskey truffle, which is a chocolate ice cream with a whiskey ripple that runs through it in the beginning. And then when you're finishing up, you think that, that you're done, you start to feel that chipotle kick in the back of your throat. It's like a heat that comes on afterward. And that one's like really fun. It's, a lot of people sample it, not a lot of people like order it, but it's a fun, like conversation starter. It's a good way to break the ice. Come in and taste some spicy whiskey and then you, even if you just get vanilla, that's the fun part about this. We have all these wacky flavors. We do uh, we have two different uh, flavors that are caffeinated. So one single scoop is more caffeine than a Red Bull in it. So that's like fun. We have a, one's called Iced Latte Da. It's a coffee flavor. And then we have one that's uh, Bang Peanut Butter. So it's like a peanut butter cup, like a Reese's cup. It's chocolate ice cream with peanut butter cups, but it has that caffeine in it too. Um, so we have all kinds of black licorice. Black licorice. That's a that's a. It looks crazy in the cabinet. It's like a really dark gray. It doesn't. <laughs> but you know, people that love it, you know, they come in and, and get black licorice. We try to keep those pints in all the time for those people because it's fun to have out there and for people to taste and sample. We, so we try to do all of our crazy flavors, but we always have those standards to go back to if if somebody just wants chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, Rocky Road, all the basic ice cream flavors. We have those. And we keep our most popular flavors in the cabinet all the time too, like the This Just Got Serious and the Zanzibar Chocolate and Exhausted Parent that we mentioned before. But there's all kinds of fruit different flavors and... and um, our ice cream's really good. It's the good stuff. It's got quality ingredients. So what makes it different from everybody else's ice cream is a typical ice cream has one part air to one part cream. And we have 65% cream and 35% air. So it's a lot thicker and creamier and more dense. It doesn't have all the air in it that like standard ice cream has. It's, that's why it's uh, classified as super premium. And the butter fat content is, is another factor of that. It's the standard ice cream has about 8%, and to be super premium, you have to be at 12, and it's at 14% butter fat for this ice cream. But that's why it's so good. It's so thick and creamy and 
That's why everybody likes it. It comes from Madison, Wisconsin. They know how to do dairy there. But the company that we get our ice cream from, uh, they've been in business since the 60s. And it's a really cool family owned operation. Third, fourth generation yeah. business. The, and the, the guy that started it, he still actually drives a truck for them. He's 85 years old and still drives a truck for them like, all the time. Yeah, so we, we do ice cream cakes also all the time, but we have four inch baby cakes that are nice for um, for small get togethers, two people to share, or if you're like celebrating a coworker or a teacher, you can get these small baby cakes. And we have a lot of them pre-made ready to go in the freezer, but we can special make those with 24 hours advance notice. We can have those out and ready for you with whatever ice cream, whatever cake flavor you want, and uh, personalized however you want. And we do drizzles and, and toppings and all those things on there. And then our eight inch cakes are for a bigger setting. Um, it goes a long way though, because there's three and a half pounds of ice cream on one of those cakes. So, and it's the thicker, creamier ice cream. So you can't really eat a ton of it, you know? So it, we, we say it serves at least 10 to 15 people. It has a cake layer in it. It's actual cake. Uh, it stays, it's, it's designed, it's, it was made to stay moist, even when frozen. It's not like a cookie crumb or anything, it's an actual cake that goes in there. So we have a cake layer and then three and a half pounds of ice cream. We ice it and put all the toppings and pipe it. And we have two different cake decorators here to take care of all of our cakes for us. They do a great job, local Speedway residents. We have ice cream cookie sandwiches ready made in the freezer to go, or you can, we make cookies fresh daily and you can pick any of our cookies and um, whatever ice cream you want and make your own combination of ice cream sandwich. We have uh, coffee, we use Julian's coffee, which is a locally roasted coffee out of um, Zinesville, Indiana. We do uh, nitro coffees, which is co cold coffee infused with nitrogen, makes it naturally creamy. It's really good with ice cream in it because it freezes the ice cream, so it kind of makes the ice cream um, icy on the outside, which is something fun. We can do affogados uh, with the cold brew ice cream and coffee shakes, so that's something different that um, come in and try. And... So we started the, with our brick and mortar store in Zionsville first. Um, the truck kind of happened kind of by accident. We were looking for a way to transport a, a mobile cart and then you know it's just we can't ever go halfway with anything so we ended up going all out with this big food truck and and we started using that in May last in May of 2018. But we typically just use it more for like, events we don't, we're not really out and about in the truck per se as like a food truck. We use it for like, we do a lot of um, corporate events. We like, we do stuff for like- We just did Praxair. Yeah, we just did an event for Praxair with the bus um, a couple weeks ago. And mm -hmm. so we, we, a lot of businesses will have us come in for like employee appreciation things and, and they'll just pay for all their employees to get ice cream. The music and art festival, that was amazing. That was great. It was a great, it was put on great by Speedway and it was a great turnout. And we like to do those types of events, like where it's, we're out in the community, but not just like drive around and park at a pool or something and try to open up the business. Uh, this area is really cool. It's like really um, changing a lot. And you can see this is kind of the heart of Speedway. I really like the history here and the walkability, the like neighborhoods that are around here. Everyone can come here pretty easily. Yeah. Lots of foot traffic. People walk up here to get lunch and dinner and and ride their bikes around here and there's all these like nice trails and it's just like an up and coming area. We really didn't even look outside of Main Street. We wanted to be in the heart of Speedway. It know? seems like a really family friendly area. This is the second location. First one's in Zionsville, Whitestown. It's a Zionsville address would fall under the town of Whitestown. Um, and it's done really well up there, the community up there is great. We live in that community. We're trying to do the same thing here, tie into the, we don't live here, but we're trying to tie in as much as we do with all the schools and the the local uh, police and firefighters, all that stuff, would try to do like dine to donate events and things with those and support those organizations as much as we can. And we're a small family owned business and we have two locations, but my wife and I try to split and you know, divide and conquer and cover all the bases on all the places. We, have, we try to like come up with things to make make it easier for families here. We have full arm art smocks that kids can wear if they have nice clothes on. We have the wipe station there. This is a nice time to come in and put your phones away and just visit with your family, play some board games, have some ice cream. We're excited to be here in Speedway. 
Um, we're excited to meet all the Speedway residents. We want you to come in, uh, introduce yourselves, and eat some ice cream. Try all this, try every ice cream you can. Yeah. We want you to come in and, and just have a good time with your family. Yeah, just enjoy yourself. Enjoy some ice cream.